what's up y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel hey girl hey make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified when i upload a new video and if you're not already follow me on instagram at the hair life and my business page is the hair life official so you guys i made this ready to ship unit a couple weeks ago and i wanted to film this process this look was initially inspired by a look that cash doll had post um i think a couple months ago i'll post up a picture so you guys can see so my ending result definitely came out brighter because I, i'll tell you guys what happened um in a little bit with this this is cash doll's look and the stylist that colored it was chastity autumn she did an amazing job this look was bomb so i had to recreate so i did use four bundles of my virgin chinese body wave bundles these are available on my website i will leave the link down below as well as the hd lace so i have four bundles in total you guys are only seeing three because i was also trying to film a reels for instagram okay let's get right into it i'm starting off with some willow bleach and some 20 volume developer for the base color as you guys can see that base color was like a cinnamon brown color and bleach baths are bomb for any type of brown shades i will definitely be showing you guys more so i'm starting off with two scoops of willow bleach and i am filling up this four ounce color beaker four times and like i said it's four ounces you want this mixture to be extremely liquidy you don't want this to be thick at all you want it to be really really watery so i'm gonna just take my color whisk and whisk this all up mix it up really good make sure i'm getting everything off the walls and you guys will see it's gonna be really 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 liquidy I am starting off with the closure. This is a 16 inch HD body wave closure 5x5 from my website. The link will be down below. I had already bleached the knots as you guys can see what knots. I do have a bleach knot tutorial available for purchase on my website. If you guys are interested, it is on sale this week only for $25. So make sure you check that out in the description box. So I'm going to start off by just dipping this closure into the mixture and you guys will see it's really really easy like this tutorial is super super simple you guys just want to make sure you are getting everything completely saturated i did dip all the way down to the roots i did not want any dark roots i wanted this color to be even all throughout so i just made sure that i was opening up that hair making sure that i had bleach everywhere and then you guys are going to see i'm going to go in with like a detangling brush to just make sure everything is evenly distributed. And if you have any spots missing, you can just take some of that mixture and put it on the closure. Now, my hair will process really, really fast. You guys will see, it's gonna start turning really fast. Like by the time I got done with the first bundle, the closure was already done and I had to rinse it out. So again, just wanna make sure that you get everything covered. And like I said, right now I'm going in with that detangling brush just making sure that i have bleach everywhere and i'm just gonna let that sit so we're gonna do the first bundle and then you guys can see i did unravel it and just folded it up and put it in a clip and as y'all can see that closure was already processing so i was trying to move really really fast because i didn't want it to get too light i just wanted like a nice cinnamon brown so i'm doing the same exact thing with the bundle dipping it into the mixture making sure i have everything covered from the weft all the way down to the ends i'm going to take that clip off so i can open it up and make sure i have the bleach mixture everywhere now after this i will be making another mixture because you guys can see i'm almost out of bleach and i had three more bundles to do so you just want to repeat the same process with the two scoops and filling up a four ounce um cup measuring cup four times so i'm getting all that product out of there you guys i'm massaging it in making sure i got it everywhere i'm gonna brush it through and just make sure every single strand of hair is covered in bleach so like i told you guys the closure was pretty much done by the time i got done with that first bundle as you guys can see i'm just adding a little bit more because some of the pieces in the back were still a little bit dark as well as on the roots so i gave that like another two minutes and it was done it was done so i rinsed that out i didn't wash it i just wanted to rinse it so the process could stop and this is what it looked like and then i just set that to the side so i can move on to the rest of the bundles but I just want to show you guys what that looked like when I rinsed it. 
I had gone ahead and made a second mixture and as you guys can see I'm just adding some more of the mixture to that bundle so it can be completely saturated but as you guys can see it's already starting to turn brown you have to move extremely extremely fast especially like when you have good quality hair it's going to process fast so if it's too dark that's one thing but you don't want it to get lighter than what you want because then that's a whole nother problem and you'll have to fix it and it's just unnecessary so just move quickly as you can so we're moving on to the second bundle and i'm doing the same exact thing just dipping that bundle into the mixture i'm gonna make sure i brush it out make sure everything is completely saturated that's pretty much all there is to it for the base color and if you want a brown color like this you can opt out of doing any of the other steps you can easily do this beginning step and then that color will be really really pretty as well I repeated this exact same process on all four bundles this is one of the bundles when it was time to rinse it out and i just shampooed it i didn't condition after that i just shampooed it this is when the bundles were still damp always keep in mind that the hair is going to be darker when it's wet it will be a little bit lighter than what it appears to be once it's dry so then here are the bundles completely dry and then we're going to move on to the next step but i did want to just show you guys what they look like dry All right, now that we got the base color out of the way, we're gonna go in and start creating the blonde tips. So I went in with some Blonder Bleach. This is also by Willa Color Charm. This will be linked down below. Everything that I'm using in this tutorial will be linked in the description box. So please make sure you guys check the description box. And I created a bleach bath with 30 volume developer this time. Same exact technique. Two scoops of that Blonder Bleach with um. The 30 volume developer I filled up that beaker four times same deal mix it up really really good make sure it's liquidy and I'm just showing you guys right here how far I had planned to dip so you just want to make sure you kind of are dipping the ends but same thing dip the ends in make sure it's completely saturated you don't want to go up too high um, now I also did take my color up higher than cash dials but I wanted more than just the tips I wanted a little bit more blind so again, you can be inspired by something and then you can tweak it to fit your needs. So just always keep that in mind. So yep, I'm just making sure I'm moving fast. You want all of your bundles to kind of process at the same rate. So you want to move really fast when you're doing this. And I am warning y'all, this is a messy, messy process. Super easy, super simple, but it is messy, okay? So make sure you have like trash bags down, some type of um, like some type of plastic, just something protecting like your floors and everything, your countertops, because it is messy. So just a tip, I know you guys are seeing me brush out the hair and y'all see me placing it on the trash bag, but I am placing it on a part that is clean towards the top. I did not want to put it on a part that had bleach on it and then I end up getting bleach on that like cinnamon brown base because um, that will mess up the look that we're going for. So just keep that in mind. And I did add some more bleach because I had bleach left over and I do not like wasting products. These Listen, bleach costs too much to be wasting products. So I did just add some more and I did put a piece of foil on top. I'm not sure what happened to that clip, but I did put some foil on top. Let it process for about 30 to 45 minutes. And at this moment when I was rinsing it out, I realized I'm like, you know what, this is probably the same color as the ends of the cash dial color, but I wanted it to be lighter. So if you want the cash dial color, this is probably good right here. You could just go in, you can tone 
and you'll be good to go. You can proceed on to making your unit or sewing, whatever you're going to do. You'll be fine. But I did want it brighter, so I did shampoo with some Dove Intense Repair Shampoo, and I let the bundles kind of air dry. So for this last bleaching process, I'm going in with my favorite bleach. Y'all already know, Blami with the Matching 30 Volume Developer. Y'all already know how I feel about this bleach. It's just bomb. I do not like that they do not fill up the cans all the way, but it's still the best, and that's just period. So like I said, everything will be linked down below. You absolutely need the matching developer. Y'all, please do not try to use Blami Bleach with the regular Salon Care developer. It is not going to hit the same. I promise you, buy the matching developer. You will see what the hype is about. This bleach is everything. So I did not do a bleach bath. I mixed it up regularly. And y'all can see that the consistency is not too thick. It's not too thin. Just right. And y'all can see it was like kind of a ombre situation going on. So I just want to even that out. I just wanted it to be just even so I did go in and apply the bleach to this middle portion in between the cinnamon brown and the tips first I let that process a little bit then I went and applied it to the ends after so that's all I'm doing I am going to flip this over to make sure it is completely saturated on both sides and that is pretty much it to this part so I'm just let y'all watch this and I'll be back Okay, so y'all, if you haven't used Blami, I'm telling you guys right now, it processes extremely fast. So this was probably like 10 to 15 minutes after I applied the bleach. And you guys can see the tip still did not have any bleach on it. I'm doing that now on all of the bundles. And I left that on for like another five minutes. And here we are rinsing it all out. I'm so sorry that I cannot get a good angle for you guys to see the whole washing out process. But can we just get into, listen, look at this blind. There is no filler strands in there. That's just straight good quality hair, okay? So I did wash it out. These are the two shampoos I love to use. As you guys can see, they both are repair shampoos. Um, I will have those linked as well. And y'all, I was just so obsessed. And it wasn't even toned yet, girl. It wasn't even toned and it was already hidden. So I did wash that out. And I will be going in with a... Um, ion repair solutions protein treatment when i'm completely done but now the hair is damp i towel dried it i did not let it air dry it's towel dried as you guys can see look at that blend girl oh i gotta do this unit for myself i was really excited about this so we're gonna tone and i'm gonna be using the wella t15 toner i did not have any 20 volume developer which is what they require with their toners so i did just go in with 10 volume I didn't need it to be any lighter. I just kind of needed it to tone. So 10 volume was fine. So you just want to mix one part of toner to two parts of developer. So you can just fill up that container twice with some developer. Like I said, I used 10. I mixed that up really, really good. And I put it all over the blonde area of the hair.
It's a lot easier to distribute this product when the hair is damp. So um, I know everybody is usually using like T14 or T18, but I did not want Ash Blonde. This is a beige blonde. So this is more so on the warmer side rather than cool. Um, and that's exactly how I wanted it. It, ugh, I just, I was so obsessed with this look. I loved how it turned out. Now, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like once it starts to process. It did turn like a pinkish color. You know how uh, when you do like T18, it will turn purple. This turned like a, like a salmon pinkish color. So I'm going to show you guys that. So if you see that, don't be alarmed. I let this sit for about 20 minutes to process and then I wash it out. Okay, so this is that pink color that I was telling you guys about. Once you see this, you know it is completely done toning and you can proceed to wash it out. It might not take the full 20 minutes. It could be 10, it could be five, it just depends. Um, so this was the result after I washed out the toner. I just rinsed it off and I proceeded to shampoo. And like I said, I love the Dove Intense Repair Shampoo as well as the Ion Repair Solutions Shampoo. They are both amazing for um, after you have color treated some hair they are amazing i love both of those shampoos equally so i did that two to three times just to make sure i got all of the product out do y'all see that blend listen i was so excited with the turnout of this look you guys Help me name this unit down below because I have not named her yet. And she is definitely about to be a part of the regular collection. Like, it was bomb. I'm obsessed with this. I hope you guys enjoy this too. Definitely let me know if you are going to try this out. Send me pictures on Instagram after you try it. So, after I shampoo, before I go in and deep condition, I go in with the Ion Repair Solutions Foaming Protein Treatment. I love this stuff. This is what it looks like. Um, it is going to like suds up like a shampoo, but it's a protein treatment and it is amazing. The Ion line, the repair solutions is really good for um, when you're color treating hair. So I just like to take that detangling brush again and just run it through to make sure that that product is distributed. I'll leave that on for about 15, 20 minutes and then I will go in with some silicone mix, either Aussie conditioner or Tresemme. Ooh, y'all, that blend, girl. Oh, I got to do this unit for myself because I am in love. This is the final product, you guys. After this, like I said, I let it deep condition. I air dried it. I made the unit. I styled it. And oh, I was just obsessed. So let me know how you guys like this. Let me know if you're going to try it. If you do try it. Tag me on Instagram at the Hair Life or the Hair Life Official. Um, I know somebody's gonna ask. I do not color any outside hair any longer. It became such a hassle. So I will only color hair that is purchased from my brand. I will have all the links down below. Make sure y'all check that out. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. Um, email me any inquiries. Please don't send them to my DMs because my DMs get flooded and I have a hard time trying to find them. So just email me at the Hair Life Official at gmail.com. And I will catch y'all in my next one. Thank y'all so much for watching. Bye.